simplify m minus 9m to the negative first all over 1 minus 3m to the negative first. We know from our rules of exponents that if we see something like m to the negative first, that becomes 1 over m. Negative exponents generally result in fractional expressions. So even though the original expression doesn't look like the other complex fractions we've seen, these m to the negative firsts are actually 1 over m's, and so there are fractions hidden inside this fraction. I'm going to rewrite this so that the m to the negative firsts are written as fractions. This is m minus 9 times m to the negative first is 1 over m. And then in the bottom, 1 minus 3 times also 1 over m. And then I'm actually going to do those multiplications. 9 times 1 over m is 9 over m. And 3 times 1 over m is 3 over m. So I can rewrite this a little bit more simply with fractions. And now we're going to use the uh, LCD method that we used before. We need to find the least common denominator of the smaller fractions and multiply the top and bottom of the main fraction by that. In this case, the LCD is just m because the only denominators in the smaller fractions were m. So what we need to do is we need to multiply the top and bottom of this expression by m. When we distribute the m in the top, m times m is m squared. Then we've got minus. In the second term, there's going to be an m that cancels because we've got an m in the bottom and an m in the top. So we're just left with that 9. So this becomes m squared minus 9. And then in the denominator, we're also going to have to distribute. 1 times m is just m. And then we have minus 3 over m times m. The m's cancel, and so we're just left with 3. So we've got m squared minus 9 all over m minus 3. To see if there's any reducing we can do, we need to factor the m squared minus 9. But it's just a difference of squares, so it factors pretty easily into m plus 3 times m minus 3 all over m minus 3. We can see that there's an m minus 3 in the top and bottom, so we can cancel those factors out. And we're left with an m plus 3 in the top, and technically a 1 in the bottom, but m plus 3 divided by 1 is just m plus 3. So our final answer here is going to be m plus 3.